Hey there guys, my name's Sergey with the Tabletop Warlords, and today we're going to be talking about Tectorus Scouts, a really awesome unit for any faction of Gar. Now you may be looking at those paint jobs and being like, Sergey, those look a little ragged, and that's because Tectorus are actually the first ever Antares model I purchased, and the first ever Antares model that I painted, so I kind of kept the old paint job for historical relevance. Also, because of that, this unit is very near and dear to my heart. Tector Scouts are an auxiliary choice in the Gar Exiles, the Gar Empire, and the Gar Outcast Army, and in all of them, they're only 20 points. For Gar Empire and Gar Exiles, this is super, super useful because those armies kind of sometimes struggle to keep up with order dice. But no matter what faction you're playing, these guys are awesome. On the battlefield, they kind of function like a weird probe unit. Unlike most probes, they only move 15 inches per turn, as opposed to the standard 20. They have a traditional probe stat line, meaning that they don't have any stats except for a res value, which is 4. They have scramble proof, making them immune to a lot of the special weapons used by pan-human armies. And each individual model has the leader special rule, which makes them able to re-roll res tests. Now, with the res only being 4, this doesn't increase their survivability a lot, but it can certainly come in handy. And they're a sharded unit. What this means is that each individual model in this unit is kind of treated like its own individual unit. These models don't have to remain in coherency, and if they're not in coherency, units have to target each model separately as if they're targeting a separate squad. The unit doesn't share pins, in fact, sharded units don't receive pins at all. Additionally, these guys completely ignore difficult terrain, so they're super duper mobile. However, they cannot charge and they cannot make any action ever other than just a regular old run order. However, you don't need any actions when you're armed with the almighty Tector Rod. Each Tectorist is armed with a Tector Rod, which has a super interesting effect. When a friendly guard unit targets an enemy unit with a shooting attack, and there is a Tectorist within 15 inches of the targeted enemy unit, the shooter gets a reroll as if they had a spotter drone. This is a big deal with guard because most of their units don't have that many actual shots coming downfield, so you want to make sure that you're making contact every time you shoot. And if you're running guard outcasts, which do have a lot of volume fire, you will probably also be running a couple of plasma lances, which makes this reroll invaluable. Now let's put on our cost analysis hats and think about just how cost effective this unit is. Most armies, in order to get a reroll in the shooting attacks, must spend 10 points per unit. Gar only have to spend 20 points to, in essence, give their entire army rerolls. This means that Gar Tectorists are kind of infinitely points effective. Depending on how large your army is, they could be giving a 10 point upgrade to 10 to 15 units for only 20 points. That is awesome. Additionally, if you have extra points left over, you can add two extra Tectorus to the squad as an upgrade. This can be sometimes useful if you're going up against people with a lot of split fire like Concord or Isaurian, or it can be helpful if you just have five points left over. In Gar Exiles and Empire particularly, there aren't a lot of small upgrades to throw your leftover points at, so this is kind of a nice little sink. I would heavily recommend fielding these in any faction of Gar. They're super, super useful, they're really easy to use, and they're not as scary as something like an SDAA probe, so they don't always get immediately shot off the field. They're just super, super useful. And they're only 20 points. I mean, you may as well. Honestly, most of the time, you're gonna have like weird points gaps when you're using big units anyway. So these guys are the perfect way to fill those gaps. Now, from a hobby perspective, I'm gonna be honest here, these are the models that made me fall in love with Gates of Antares. They're just really weird. They're kind of like old man on the beach with a metal detector meets evil space goblin. And how could you ask for a better combo? Whenever I see them, I just always imagine like an elite Concord soldier stalking through the jungle with a plasma lance, and then all of a sudden a Tectorus pops out of the woods and like waves a metal detector at him. He's like, we've got him guys, fire no range. I just love the weird kind of goofy personality that these guys have, especially when they're in an army that also has a lot of like kind of stark, very serious looking units. It's kind of cool to have 
almost an army that has like a really badass core and then like a little bit of comic relief on the side. Additionally, they give the Gar Empire a nice opportunity to break up the stark colors that they have with a little bit of flesh tone, which really helps add a little bit of vibrancy to a Gar army. Plus, you can mess up a lot on these guys and they still look pretty fun just because they have so much personality. I'm pretty sure one of the bellies of my Tectorist is painted silver as if it was part of his armor and it still looks kind of fine. Like I said, these were the first Antares models I ever painted like three years ago. I did not think they were ever going to be on camera. So overall, these guys are one of my favorite Gar units. I field them in almost every army that I can fit them into, and you can fit them into most armies. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoy waving your evil space goblin metal detectors around the field. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, and if you want to subscribe to the channel to see more of our content, hit the subscribe button as well. If you want to support the channel even further, even a dollar added to our Patreon campaign really, really helps the channel. And if you want to purchase any Gar Tectorist, go ahead and hit the affiliate link right below this video. It'll take you to the Warlord store and you can buy the Gar Tectorist and it'll give us, the Tabletop Warlords, a small commission. Any support you can give is very, very, very much appreciated. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you on the Tabletop.